Welcome to this week's podcast. I'm Cam Northernskold. Um, this is my first year on actually any form of robotics. I am on the media marketing team. And uh, I'm Vincent Martin. I am a junior and I am chairman's lead. I've been in FIRST for probably about six or seven years now. I spent a couple years in FLL, three years in the FTC, and this is my second year in FRC. Oh, okay. Uh, that's, that's a lot to compare to. I'm Kayla Greenis. I am also a junior. I'm on chairman's team. This is my first year in FRC, and I have did one year of FTC. And, uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, how are things going in chairman? I, I've seen that you guys are working really hard. We've kind of worked in the room a few times over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. So, um, chairman's has been going really good so far. We've gotten uh, nine out of our 12 executive summaries almost completely finished. So that's really great progress for us to be making, especially with how little time we have left. Mm -hmm. But yeah, absolutely. So let's let's say from a, a newcomer's perspective like myself, because I, I, to be honest, still kind of struggle to understand it sometimes. So what are some of the some of the things that you should know about chairman's? Like what's the what's the goal, the overarching point of chairman's? Well, our our final goal is to win the chairman's award, uh, which would then allow us to go to Worlds even if our robot didn't win. Um, there's several different components of that. Uh, there's a presentation and an essay and a couple other parts if Kayla would like to mention either. Yeah, so there's, there's the essay, there's a presentation, we have executive summaries which are basically questions that we have to answer from first and um, those will go to the judges. And there's one more. What's the other thing? The video, obviously. Yes, the obviously video. the video. Oh, yeah. And so we have to have all of those components done by a particular set of like time. But it kind of is a little stressful because it's very much of a time crunch compared Absolutely. to a lot of the other departments. So it's, it's very stressful. But we're doing really well so far. Like yeah. we, we're just getting our executive summaries finished, which is really good. We're on good track. We have an idea for our video that we want to do. We're going to start an essay pretty soon, I'd say so. Absolutely, yeah. We've, got yeah. A, we've got, definitely got a great, uh, very strong team this year. All new people to chairmans. Uh, there's mm -hmm. myself, Kayla, and then Nash Super. Yeah, and what was crazy to me was, because this is my first year on FRC, and um, I kind of came in. I had no idea what I was going to do, and they mentioned the idea of chairmans to me, and I was like, yeah, that sounds rad. I want to do that, like presentation <laughs> stuff. That sounds like that's good stuff. Why wouldn't I? But um, I go to Vincent and I say, okay, so like, what do we do? And he's like, I don't really know. <laughs> he doesn't know fully because like, we're all new to this and we don't have any older kids really who were in chairmans to mentor us on what we're supposed to Absolutely. be doing for this. So that made it a lot more difficult and hats off to you. Like kudos to you, Vincent, because he, he didn't even know fully what was going on now. And now we're on pretty good pace, so. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely a matter of just making sure that we read through everything and don't forget anything. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I, uh, I like to follow up what you were saying. I've noticed that we, we seem to have, like, a lot of people seem to have graduated over the last two mm -hmm. years and lost a lot mm -hmm. of people. Maybe it's just from my outside perspective, but it seems like we have a very young, young mm -hmm. team. You yeah. Know, we, yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. And... Thankfully, we have because we're not the only we're not the only chairmans. There's there's three chairmans in total, and sometimes you can have a backup if you want to. We don't have one as of now, so it's Vincent, myself, and Nash Super, who is another member on our team, and he's amazing. He's a senior, and he helps us a lot because he's been on the team the longest, so he has the most experience, and he has done some presenting to the judges, whereas like. I personally have not. I know you have for FTC. I also did a little bit on FRC last year, but not a whole lot. So this kinda, is also kind of a learning curve. Was it, um, what did you do? You, you I, shadowed, uh, right? I helped with the uh, 2021 game design presentation. Oh, so we yeah, had to create yeah. a, an FRC game mm -hmm. for ourselves. Uh, and then I helped present that with Lizzie Kluge. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. yes. Um, definitely, for sure, having the experience of Nash that he, that he provides has been great. On top of that, he also lends a very technical aspect that we don't really have as we've done a lot more in the past with documentation and all that but because of the time that he's spent on programming and electrical he can really help us in that regard mm -hmm. yeah and that's that's another crazy thing is that when it comes to like other departments as well like they're facing the exact same thing that we are um i know our electrical part department does not have a lot of experience even with that so it's like everybody has to learn here and we're really really grateful that we have the mentors we do to help us out but having such like a student-led and student-ran team, um, it definitely has its upsides, but it has its downsides. Um, but I'm just really glad that we've been able to kind of figure out what we've been wanting to do with the path that we've been going down Absolutely. lately. Yep. Yeah. So, um, 
I was I was talking with Yurik uh, the other day about you know when we were going over some of our, some of our values and some of the things that we want to the some of the things that we want to promote when we're uh, I guess pushing our our people our I guess proverbial uh, birds out of the nest like. What are what are some goals you guys have like to use the skills that you've learned in FRC and other forms of robotics? You know, once you graduate, once you're you, you, you answer know, that question the, first. Uh, I know you're uh, waiting. Well, I have honestly not been making the best decisions in that regard because I plan to go to school for something in computer science, and I am not a programmer. <laughs> so that was kind of a mistake on my part. But I have had an absolutely phenomenal time on chairmans and in documentation, and I wouldn't change that for the world. So. I'm definitely very grateful that I stay where I am, but uh, we'll just have to see how that helps me in the future. I mean, the leadership role that I have on this team is absolutely going to assist me in the future. Being able to uh, run a group of people and, and sort of like help them along and also all the different things that come with the chairman's submission, I think will help me in more indirect ways, but definitely in very real ways in my future careers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think when it comes to me, I'm kind of unsure of what exactly I want to go into. Like, I'm not exactly sure. I want to do something that I know that will help people, and I want to make my voice known. Again, I'm not exactly sure what that's going to be yet, but I know that presenting and learning those presentation skills, even though for the most part I already have them, like, just getting better presentation skills, that's really, really important. And that's a huge thing to learn, especially at this age. So I'm really excited to get better with that. Um, yeah, I, 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 again, I entirely commend you for taking on this role because... You haven't even been on Sherman's before, and we didn't even fully know what it was. And all of a sudden, Vincent is the lead, and he knows what's going on now. So I'm just really excited about it. Yeah. I uh, I've noticed that when you guys are like when you guys are working, it seems like Chairman seems like a lot of fun because not only are you mm -hmm. you're digging through archives and you're digging through like the past of F sorry FRC and 4607 and all the some of the past stuff. So you know, almost from talking to some people, like almost learning about people like mm -hmm. you start to meet people through mm -hmm. their past selves mm -hmm. and it also seems like though that it's open to a lot of to a lot of like fun just conversations that you get to have <laughs> yeah. um that that always looks that always looks like a blast do you have any like recent conversations that halfway <laughs> through you're like what am i what am i thinking what is this conversation well <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are you i I don't know. It's just, yeah, when you're trapped in a room with two other people for nine hours out of the day straight, no breaks, um, yeah, the conversations can take some weird turns. So, hey, what absolutely. Is what, what, is, what is one lately that we've had? Well, I'm trying to think. Um, we found um, a bunch of like weird plastic stuff in the corner of the shop. Like there was a, a duck, like a, like a spray painted yeah, duck. And, yeah, yeah. and like some little tiny baby figures. That's why that was so, on the ground. Yes, yeah. yep, the duck we, was us. We found those and then today, today has kind of been exhausting in general and we've definitely made progress on our executive summaries but a lot of it, we, we've, we've joked around a lot today as well as going around. Because we originally we wanted to, we were looking for something in the shop and then we found that kind of stuff. And so we grabbed it and I've literally been because it has like a little it has like a little string we should have brought it with us it has a little string it's like this duck thing that they got from a store in town and then gave it to Yurik I think it was Hayden and Nash and they yeah. gave it to Yurik and then he spray painted it, it it's like one of those ducks that you put out. what is even the for water of this uh, thing? they're decoy. yeah a decoy, it's my a decoy and so um yeah, he spray painted it black and I think the face white for some reason and they See, attached colors. Yeah, oh yeah, I suppose. And so they attached a string onto it, so I've been literally dragging it around like that's a duck on the leash. <laughs> now, the important question about that, what is its name? You have to have a name. We no, haven't, you. Named, we haven't it. named it. Wait, wait, no. We haven't named it. What are, it's wait, your wait. duck, so really Should we name it J Duck? We can name it though. No, Harold. No. Harold? <laughs> Harold We'll is talk fitting. about this afterwards. Harold 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 is fitting. <laughs> Oh, oh, there it is. Oh my gosh, Helen there it is. Helen has it, Helen has it. Give us the duck. Did he spray oh paint it? Okay, so here, here is the lovely... Oh, hide a string, that's yeah. his business. So I, I set it on the ground, as, as so, and I drag it, but the unfortunate part is it's, it's tied like underneath. So when I drag it, it goes like that, and then it, yeah, it gets like dragged across the floor. Careful, we might I be can... pursued by PETA. Okay. <laughs> I can absolutely see you as a senile old woman dragging around like 
I don't even, I don't even, I don't even like cats, but I feel like I'm gonna have 90 cats when I'm older. You know, you know what's something I really like to do though, in general, like oh, something that I weirdly find really funny is that I like to make jokes that people do not understand, and I don't explain them to anyone, but I just like they're just funny to me. Like for example, I, I was in Spanish class the other day, and um, my friend looked at me and she said, like, what is, what did Miss Lundin just say? Like our teacher, and I just turned to her and I, I go una botella which just means a bottle in Spanish. Absolutely no context. And she didn't understand what I was saying and she just kind of wanted to play along with it. So she goes, oh, okay. <laughs> like it doesn't make, and I didn't explain that to anyone. It's just funny. Or walking into a room and going, yo mama, who said that? Who said I that? I wondered, knowing you, knowing you for just like the week that I've started to know you just from you working, I don't think I've heard a single sane sentence, word, anything more than you say. Your mama. Your mama and just garbage. Or your garbage. mom or just, just yeah. Just garbage. Tequila, your mama acts as an adjective, noun, verb, preposition, <laughs> all the parts of speech. No, but 100%. that's, this is another thing we talked about with Yurik is that I'm like, my filler words have become more of, when I'm looking for something to say, they've become more of a, you know, I'm talking about something and then I just say, your mama. And I know like that. Like no, filler word has become. It's your become. Mama. It's become Kayla's new comma. Cause yeah, it's exactly. very. It's very off-putting. Well, Cause you'll have a conversation. Like I'm having a conversation with you, and then, and you don't like keep eye contact or anything. Like no, it's almost I like just, a. I just so can't. you'll be talking like you know face to face. You'll be talking, to, and then randomly you'll be yeah blah 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 your mama blah 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 and like <laughs> just without. There's, but there's that's the thing is there's not supposed to be context with it because then that makes it unfunny, but. I, I think that I think that the worst, the biggest like fail of me trying to make my yo mama joke was the other day. I think I told you about this. I don't know if I told you, Cam, but I walked into a room and there were a bunch of sophomores sitting there, and I go, yo mama, who said that? You guys, this isn't funny anymore. They <laughs> took it seriously. They did. They did. They did not. They did not take it that as a joke. They they stopped and they paused and they went. I don't want to offend you, but is everything okay? Are you? Are you okay? And I'm like, <laughs> oh my gosh, yes I am. Yes, I'm fine. I'm, fine. I'm. That's the point. Is I'm. They're like, okay, I'm just like trying to be sure. I just I don't want to like offend you or anything. And I'm like, it's it's a your mom joke. The point was accusing you of saying it, but in reality I said it. Yada 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 X Y Z. But I think my yo mama jokes are very funny. Some don't think so. It's, it's, it's a little off-putting. It's a lot. It's, it's, a lot. It's, it's a bit much, especially when we're having a serious another conversation. Thing, and another, another thing, we were talking random junk, but I love it. Like in one of my favorite classes, it was a, it was a psychology class, and um, we basically had learned everything that we needed to learn, and instead of giving us busy work that we really, really didn't need to do, instead, we just played a game that pertained to like history. Like, that type of stuff is really fun. Well, I don't that's know. the wrong but, class. That's, what? You said psychology, didn't you? Yeah, that's the point. So you did history stuff in psychology? No, yeah, it had nothing to wow. do with It I didn't mean, have anything to do with psychology, wow. but... You almost made me want to go to public school for a second there. Okay, that's another, you, that's another thing. That's another you thing. You don't Vincent leave your... is not public school. This is, is the only school. time you ever leave the house, on, like, in the most respectful way. I mean, but it, it's funny walking in the halls, like, with him, because he'll, he'll just be looking at a poster, and he'll just go... Well, here, okay, okay, here's the thing though, is that, because you went to public school until 6th grade? I left public school the summer between 5th and 6th grade. 6th grade. So, yeah. I, and I so, the term Vincent, Vincent, <laughs> Vincent, um, I knew you since 3rd grade, we were really good friends in 3rd grade, yeah. but ever since that he left, people remember him and remember his name, and whenever he's mentioned, it's like me the mentioning of a ghost. Like, you, <laughs> if, I, if I say like, yeah, I was hanging out with Vincent, Vincent? Oh, I love that kid. He's just the sweetest little thing. Where is he? I haven't seen him in so long. Like, it's that type of thing. Because they all lost contact with you. Like, they don't, like, you haven't talked to a lot of people from public school in a long time. But you they... Just, yeah. You just turned into, like, an Aunt Kathy within, like, half okay, a second. Okay, okay, but you get, you get my point. You get my point. Everybody loved you, and they all missed you, and that's why we need to bring you I, to a dance. I cannot believe that everyone loved me. I was the most antisocial, obnoxious child. No! How did people like no, me? No, you, it's Vincent. ridiculous how many people I talk to, and I mentioned... Because one time my screensaver was a picture of us yeah, at the park. We had that picture of us at the park. Oh, and people were like... Oh, is that Vincent? That's Vincent. Oh my gosh, that's Vincent. Like they, <laughs> they get so excited. Like I, people would say like you used to be their math buddy and you know all that good math stuff. Buddy. But but oh, it's oh, it's oh, crazy oh, to me how much you do not like public school. Yeah, not a fan. But 
Um, I don't regret leaving, but I sometimes do regret getting to see people more yeah, often. Yeah, because I feel like that's the biggest downside. Like, I could not imagine. And I feel like that's also where it, the difference comes between being introverted and extroverted, is you can really, really enjoy public school if you're really introverted, but if you're extroverted and you're doing public school, sorry, private school, I meant. If you're doing private school and you're really extroverted, I feel like, oh, man, that would really suck. Home like school? It just, yeah. Home school, oh, my gosh. Private. Home school. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you, yeah, get, yeah. you get my point. You get sorry, my point. Yeah. But... Like how? What is your perspective on it from that? Well, I am I am very introverted. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you know, after this, I'm gonna go home and sleep for 14 hours. Um, well, I maybe it's just for me, but you seem like you you seem like you're definitely yeah. You're you're not gonna get up and yell. You know, I have an idea. Of people, but like once you once he you start, be vertical, almost. well, yeah, he's a hard. I'd say you're in it because you. Yeah, you're kind of you're kind of quiet, but once you start talking, once you kind of get an idea of what you're gonna say. Then like it's kind of hard to stop you, and it's very entertaining. <laughs> I, no, that's in a good way. I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I feel well, like you're so in the middle, though. Well, almost. I think I, I think that I'm not sure if this is true, but at least in my mind, there's kind of like a misconception because introvert and extrovert do not mean that you like to talk to people and don't like to talk to people. Uh -huh. It's more of do you get energy from talking to people, or does talking to people drain you? Like that social battery concept. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I am definitely on the side of. Okay of like social interaction drains me. I absolutely love seeing people. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Talking to people, talking to you guys is honestly one of my favorite parts of my entire week. Um, Aww. But yeah, um, I, but it's incredibly exhausting for me. Like this whole Saturday build day, I'm going to be exhausted tomorrow. Yeah. And so for sure, I'm an introvert just for the sake of the social battery concept of like, I just, yeah, it drains me. That's another thing though, is like a lot of my really good friends are introverted and I'm very extroverted. And I, I think that's, I think that's kind of interesting. Like my relationships with, with introverts, like introverts and extroverts work really well together in a lot of different scenarios. Like I feel Absolutely. like two introverts together, sometimes you hit like a wall yeah. almost, but like if it's an extrovert and an introvert, it's like, it's, it's good. Like one, of, I mean, going with the kind of the stereotype of introverts being quieter, which is not always true. Hence you, um, but not an insulting yes, way at all. Loud, Vincent, Vincent, loud. Vincent loves to talk though, but I do too. But um, I don't know. Like it's, it's just interesting. I, I will say though, with the whole introvert versus like extrovert, you as a fellow extrovert, I'm sure you'll understand. When your introvert friends will just like when you you'll try to communicate with them. So like you know you want to try and set something up with them or like hey do you, do you guys want to hang out or. And you know they saw the text because they'll talk to them and yeah. they just yeah. It's very, I don't know how to. It, it's like yeah. Why? <laughs> I know I know what you're. I think I think that though that kind of applies to more than because that's that's happened to me as well with extroverted people as well. I think it's more of sometimes they need sometimes people just need a break in general, and I think that's respectable. It just depends on if you communicate that or not. Mm -hmm. On behalf of all introverts, oh I boy. apologize. Yeah, I think we should move yeah, and listen. Right. Yeah, you better, you better and apologize. We don't mean any harm by it. We promise. That's okay. Most of the time. Most of the time. Most. Of the time. If I ignore you for a while, it might just be because I then we have a problem. Yeah. There's an issue there. Um, thank you all for listening to CI's forty six oh seven podcast for the week, and um, shout out, thank you to Delta Mod Tech for sponsoring us. Um, yeah. Thank you.